Okay, good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to start um, by practicing identifying the main idea and supporting details of an informational text with just a very, very simple text today. Okay, and today's text title is The Wonders of Water. Water plays an important part in our lives and in our environment. It covers nearly three quarters of the Earth's surface. It is fun to play in, but it is also needed for life. In fact, we cannot survive without water to drink. People also need water to wash, cook, and grow food. Every living thing needs water. Without it, plants and trees would not grow. Aquatic life would have nowhere to live, and animals who find their food in the water will have nothing to eat. Up in Earth's atmosphere, water vapor cools and collects into the clouds. When enough clusters of cloud particles stick together, they tumble back down to Earth as rain, snow, hail, or sleet. So, without water, the water cycle would not work, and we would not have precipitation on Earth. Did you know that most of the world's population does not have access to clean water? We are very lucky to live in a country where clean water is available for us to drink. It is up to us to be responsible users of the water we have on earth. Now, as a reader, we know good readers always read at least three times, especially when it's something as short as this. Um, because this is such a simple um, paragraph, <clears throat> the main idea is supposed to be colored in red. But what we're going to do is think about what was this text mostly talking about, right? What was the topic? So when I ask myself that, I'm going right back here to the title, Water the wonders of water. I think about what does the word wonder mean, right? It's like all of the magnificent things about it, right? What does it offer us? Okay. So when I see here, water plays an important part in our lives and in our environment. To me, that is a very, very important statement. If you notice, it's in the very first sentence. And that actually is the topic and main idea of this text. Now, do not fall into the trap that every paragraph's first sentence is going to have the main idea, okay? But sometimes it can, as we've seen from our video today. And so, <clears throat> in this particular section here where it says topic and main idea, that's exactly where we would write that. That's what we want to take away, that water is important to our lives and it's important to our environment. But if we're going to make that claim, do we have any evidence, do we have any details, right, to back that up or to support it? Did the article give us those details, right? So let's look here at the bottom. Three supporting details, and I want you to think about the table or the bar stool, right, that we talked about. You have the top part, that's your main idea statement, right, and your legs to the bar stool or to the table will be considered your supporting details. They kind of hold up that tabletop, right, because if we didn't have those legs to hold it up, wouldn't be very effective, right? That table would just collapse. So it's the same thing when we think about text, informational text. We want to identify those really key important details and then come to a conclusion as to what the main idea is. So we know the main idea for this text is that water plays an important part in our lives and in our environment. So how do we know that? Well, we know that because, hmm, up here in the paragraph, I saw something where it says we cannot survive without water. I think that's very, very important. And I think that backs up the statement. 
right? That it's important in our lives, okay? Um, plants and trees. I saw something in here about plants and trees. Hmm. Oh, without it, water, plants and trees wouldn't grow. It's right here, okay? The aquatic life would have nowhere to live, and the animals who find their food in the water, they would have nothing to eat, okay? So that would be another supporting detail to help hold up the fact that water plays an important part in our lives and in our environment. And then the very last thing that I remember that really kind of stuck out to me is that without the water cycle, we would not have precipitation on earth. And that's going to be very, very important. So that ties back to the piece about the environment. It's very important to the environment. Okay. So hopefully this very short um, paragraph gave you a bit of insight into how to identify the main idea and supporting details. We're going to practice a little bit more um, this week. So don't worry. We're going to be going through this together. Okay. All right. See you soon.